which is the impact of fat infiltration in the liver of high-producing dairy cows? It's a great question, Carlos. Uh, when fat infiltrates the liver cells, it starts to impair the cell's ability to make glucose. Cuando la grasa comienza a infiltrarse en el hígado, evita que estas células hepáticas puedan producir glucosa. And then as part of that problem, of course, these animals start to incompletely oxidize the fat. Hacen una oxidación incompleta. And these this incomplete oxidation actually causes the elevation of ketone bodies in the blood. And the ketone bodies, or BHBAs we call them, start to actually affect the animal's immune system. And we start to see more issues with health problems such as metritis and mastitis with these cows. Please explain us what is the role of protected choline in this fat infiltration in the liver and cetosis. So the choline is part of building a transport uh, vehicle, if you like, to move. La choline lo que permite es ser un vehículo que transporta la grasa del hígado al resto de tejidos del cuerpo. So this transport vehicle is needed to move the fat out of the liver cells. De tal manera que lo mueve del hígado hacia el resto del cuerpo. And we have to use rumen-protected choline because the raw choline would not make it by the rumen bugs. En el caso de la colina que existe en el alimento, esto se degrada en el rumen y por lo tanto no es suficiente para el animal. So we, we rely on being able to bypass the uh, choline so it can be used for these VLDLs or very low density lipoproteins. De tal manera que el rol de la colina protegida es justamente suplir eso que la dieta no permite y por lo tanto poder cumplir la función de transportar grasa del hígado al resto del cuerpo. Just to finalize, how reassure protected choline could benefit uh, dairy cattle in Peru? Well, uh, reassure protected choline uh, benefits cattle, dairy cattle everywhere, uh, Carlos. It's uh, necessary for all of our high producing cows to make uh, these VLDLs to keep the liver free of excessive fat accumulation and keeping these cows healthy at transition. Es algo que no solamente sucede en el Perú, sucede en cualquier sitio donde el ganado lechero se beneficia por colina protegida al hacer los mecanismos que hemos explicado anteriormente.